In the book of record that Mr. Paris keeps, I note that you are rarely in the church on Sabbath day. No, sir, you are mistaken. Twenty-six time in seventeen and seventeen months, sir. I must call that rare. Will you tell me why you are so absent? Mr. Hale, I never knew I must account for that man for I come to church on the fourth day of all. My wife was sick of this So I am told. But you, mister, why could you have not come alone? I surely did have uh, Mr. Proctor, your house is not a church. Your, your theology must tell you that. It does, sir. It does. It tells me that a ministry may face problems without you have golden candlesticks on the altar. What golden candlesticks? <coughs> Since you built the church, there were pure candlesticks on the altar. Francis Harris made them, made them, and a the, the sweeter and never cut the metal. The Harris came and was one of the And yet, mister, a Christian on Sabbath day must be in church. Tell me, you have three children? I, boys. How comes it that only two are baptized? I must say, I must say it, Mr. Proctor, that is not for you to decide. The man's ordained, therefore the light of God is in him. No, no, I have no... I nailed the roof upon the church. I hung the door. Oh, did you? That's a good sign, then. <laughs> Maybe I have been too quick to bring the man to court, but do not think that we have a desire for destruction of religion. I think that in your, in your mind is a problem. Yeah, not altogether taken away, said. I have. There is a softness in your record, sir. A softness. Do you know your commandments, Elizabeth? Without hesitation and even eagerly, she said. And you, mister? Proctor, a trifle and silly, said. I am sure I do, sir. Dale glances at her open face, then at John, and said. Let you repeat them, if you will. Aye. Okay. Stop. Why is it not looking good for John Proctor right now? What has Reverend Hale brought up? Two things specifically.
He's a farmer. He works hard. Francis Nurse made those pewter candlesticks, and they kind of felt like it was a slap in the face that Paris kept going on and on about the fact that they were not golden candlesticks. Okay, so now we're going to the Ten Commandments. Elizabeth eagerly says, I know mine, no problem. Asks John. John says, I'm sure I do. So let's see what happens. Proctor, looking off and beginning to sweat, says, Hi. And Proctor is counting on his finger. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's good. No man can be in the grave. Thou shalt not take the name of God in vain. Thou shalt have no other God before me. And without hesitation, thou shalt remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Thou shalt not take the name of God in vain. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Thou shalt honor thy father and mother. Thou shalt not bear false witnesses. He is stuck. Now that on his finger that he knows he is missing one. Thou shalt not make unto thee any great woman. You have said that twice, sir. Proctor is lost. Aye. He is falling. Now listen, that delicately says, Proctor, as though a secret arrow had saved his heart, says, Aye. And trying to win it away, he says to have... You see, sir, between the two of us, we do, we do know them all. No, only one of the doctors. He says he's trying to find this man. Proctor grows more uneasy and says... I think it'd be a small fault. Theology, sir, is a fortress. No crack in a fortress may be accounted small. I pray it. I pray it dearly. Well then, I'll bid you good night. Good Proctor, I do not judge you. My duty is to add what I may to the godly wisdom of the court. I pray you both good health and good fortune. Good night, sir. Not to do with witchcraft. She told me the day you came, sir. She's a witch. Why? Why do you keep this? I never knew until tonight that the world has gone throughout this nonsense. Nonsense, Mister? I have myself examined Tituba, Sarah Good, and numerous others that have confessed to dealing with the devil. They have confessed it. And why not? But they must hang for denying it. Oh, there are them that will swear to anything before they'll hang. I have. I I have indeed. And it is John's suspicion, but he resists it, and he glances at Elizabeth, and then at John and says, And you, would you testify to this in court? I have not reckoned with John in the court, but if I must, I will. Do you falter here? I falter nothing, but I may wonder if my story will be credited in such a court. I do wonder on it when such a 